Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. I really thought today would be fun. <laughs> not that it's not going to be, but I thought I was in the price point of the um, Huda Beauty palettes, the nudes. I made it through the Fetney. I don't know how many more nudes I can do. I'm tired of a nude look, guys. I'm so tired of them. But I know that maybe I've not hit the palette that you're looking for or the price point that you're looking at, so I will continue on. Today palette, again, is a $25 palette. I didn't, I forgot I had it, to be honest with you. But it's called the Lawless, or I'm sorry, it's by Lawless, and it's called The Little One. And it looks like this. Nudes. Now, had I had the big one, and we're talking, but we're still not in that price point, so. But, because he's got a little bit color. But, that's not where we're at. We're in this one today. Oh boy, so I've already primed my eyes with, um, I did the Urban Decay original today, actually, primer, and I'm going to try to start, I'm going to try to use the ColourPop brushes in the rose gold, um, for my eyes, and the first one I'm going to go in with is the E15, and I'm just going to take the lightest shade in there, it's like a white almost. And I was just sort of like setting my eyes. We're moving right along into this video because, you know, you've seen one nude. you kind of seen them all in a sense. I mean, in a sense. You know what I mean? So, then I'm going to go in with, I don't believe there's color. Oh, there is colors. First base, creamy. Okay. So, the next color I'm going to go into is Pony which is a matte golden brown is what it says. That's kind of cool that it has that on the back of it now. I can't deny that. And we are gonna create that crease of mine. I'm kind of watching and I'm like, all these are kind of the same look in a sense. And if I'm too far up in your face, I apologize. I'm so trying to get this this right you know trying to get your the camera to where I'm not like up in your face but yet you can still see firsthand you know how it's applying for some reason I feel like I have used this and I know that certain people do rave about this the, the palettes I don't know if I liked it I can't remember and then I'm gonna feel bad if I didn't really care for it because I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like getting products that I don't like. Or even talking about them, to be honest. Because nobody wants to hear that their product isn't good, you know? But then I know if they get feedback, they have a chance to maybe fix it, in a sense. Maybe. I don't know if they do. We can hope that they do. I mean, honestly, this isn't too bad of a palette, I don't guess. I don't know, I just want some color in my life. And I know I can add color, don't get me wrong. I know I can do this and then add color, but then it doesn't, it kind of defeats the purpose of the just having the palette, you know? Or doing a review on the palette. I don't know what made me, what possessed me to do this idea. I really don't. And I'm going to say this in every video, what possesses me to do this. But I started it. So I can't finish it. It's sort of like just doing a video, you know. I started it. I started recording so I can't, you know, finish. I can't stop. Of course, it took me a year to get the courage to even do it. To post one, so... It very well could take me a year to go through all my new palettes. Especially since it takes me all day just to sit down and, you know, film. I do part of my makeup and then have to leave and go do something else.
gotta do what we gotta do to pay the bills, right? Okay, so I think both sides are equal. Maybe. I mean, it blended out nicely. There's no patchiness that I'm seeing. Yeah. No patchy. So the next color I'm going to go in with. peachy brown which is called clutch and there is no uh, I guess kick up or fallout I, I gotta get that right one of these days I will and I'm actually putting that right in my crease and I know that nobody's gonna see it because I got hooded eyes but I know it's there. And I'm just sort of putting a little, I'm just sort of showing colors to be honest with you. These brushes aren't bad either. Slack it today, huh? And I'm just taking that first brush back over what I already done. Just sort of blending. There we go. And then for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna go in with the darker brown. Oh, let's see. And the the brush I just used with that peachy color was a um, E17, and this one is going to be an E21. We're going into that dark matte. What is that one? Smolder. I'm just going to take this one right here. Place it on the outer part of my lid. I see what I do now. First, I didn't know what I was doing. Now I do know what I'm doing. All I will say that they blend nicely and they are buildable, so that that is a good thing. If you're just trying to formula out and you're new at makeup, they can be very intense colors, but easy to blend out. There's no patchiness. Yeah. 
And again, I'm just going back over, blending. And then for the other eye. Now there is a little bit of uh, pick up, pick up, I don't know what you want to call it. I'll figure it out one day for you guys. Or for myself anyway. I mean, it blends out nicely, honestly. So maybe I like the palette? I don't know. I'm confused. So far, so good. I have no complaints. Alright. Then, for the rest of the lid... I mean, we only got two shimmers. So we got a darker one and a lighter one. And of course, I gotta have my inner corner. So it's kind of like I gotta go for the darker one on the lid. So it's going to be called Bonfire. And there's some kick up with that. And I'm not gonna wet the brush, like always. And I'm gonna start to lay that across the lid. an E4. And for the other eye. I really like this. Who would have thought? Not me.
Hmm. Interesting. Then for inner corner, we're going to take the we're going to take the other one, and we're going to go into the shade Luster. Again, not <clears throat> wetting it. And then for bottom lash line, I think I'm going to take that brown that I, the darker brown, and just run it under there. I'm just going to use that same brush. And I'm going to take that, I'm going to grab a different, oh, actually I'll just use this. I'm going to try that black that's in this palette just to see how black it is and run it on the top lash line. I mean, that's a good thing. So you do have a good black in this palette if you were to purchase it. I'm not so sure the other palettes had black. I don't remember. I don't think they did. in your face right now. I do apologize. Just trying to get it on there. Oh yeah, I think the black is good. I do. I mean, all honestly, I think the whole palette is really good, to be honest. Um, 
I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to try to get more pigment under my eye, though. Trying to think, do I want to do black or brown mascara? Do I want to mix it up or not? Probably not, huh? I mean, all in all, I think this was a nice look out of the $25 palette. Um, it also lets you sample, again, the product um, prior to committing to the fuller palette. I think you can come up with a lot of nice looks out of this palette. Formula's great. Um, I what if, I don't know, I don't wanna say that because I don't know, but I feel like, oh, let me check that before I say it. Okay. Yes, clean at Sephora. This particular palette is clean at Sephora. I thought so, but I didn't want to say that and then and not be true, you know? I don't want to give false information. I'm still thinking on. Mascara. What would you all do? Would you do brown or would you do black? I feel like brown would give it like a softer look in a sense, you know? And I feel like that's not a bad thing. I will say I'm loving the cleanup when it comes to these um, palettes, though. Because it's just been easy. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll just go with... And then I wanted to start using the... Um, uh, I'm going to go with the brown, and this is their real. The primers that go with the uh, lashes. Er, of course it goes with lashes. I wanted to start trying lash primer. Of course, without fail. Oh, just to clean up. I swear, I don't believe there will ever be a video that I don't mess up with the mascara. I really don't. I wish I could say I could see one in the future, but I don't. It's like the mascara just completely hates me. All of them. But I do like this mascara, I don't know why. I even like it in the brown or the black too. But I'm gonna tell you if you hit yourself with this, it hurts. very pokey.
try to clean what I just done up. Because it's a lovely mess that I've created. As always, I've always created messes. You know, though, I find that I create messes in my own life, too. <laughs> as bad as I sound, I wouldn't suggest doing this either. Oh, no. I want to go dry it all the way. Uh, why do I lose everything? I don't understand. Mm. I just had that. And now it's gone. And you may be saying, what did you just have? And I would say, something. Probably this. Alright. There we go. Now I've got it all right over here, but hey, it happens, right? All right, let's get these bone washes and call it a day, right? More important things to do, maybe. Besides messing up my mascara over and over again, that's what I do. Because I can sit here and play with this all day and get nothing done. But I do love these new looks that are like just toned down. Like I'm all for them being glam and all that. And they look good too, don't get me wrong. But when you tone them down, they look good too. Because it just looks like you're every day, always, you know, just everyday look. Because I don't know about you, but I mean, I know if I was like, like, I wouldn't have time every day to get ready. I mean, I do it, but it takes a lot of time, too. I'm not gonna lie. But I do it so that, I mean, one, that everybody else gets to see how long it takes in true time. And then what it looks like and, you know, all that good jazz. But then I do it because maybe I'll find something easier that will make this process easier because... Honestly, it takes me a long time. And I know that it's part of it's because I'm not a makeup artist and I get that. Then the other part of it is that I really don't, like, it's not that I, like, I don't exactly know, like, the formulas and stuff like that on everything because I'm, of course, new at this and also trying different products every day. I can't really, every product changes. So it's hard like that, too. And then the brushes tools I'm using, what makes it easier, what makes it harder type of thing. So all that does play a big part in this, but I think that this look again came out very nice, very simple, but lovely. And I think that anybody could achieve this look. It's an everyday wearable look. I think you could create quite a few everyday looks out of that particular palette. And again, it's $25 and it is clean at Sephora. So that's awesome. Um, but other than that, there's really not much to say. I I like it better than I like the Fenty palettes. I'll say that. But I am so excited for tomorrow, or whenever, probably tomorrow, to be playing with the Huda Beauty. Which, it does go up to $29, but at least there's some color. Because I need color. Like, I'm okay with this. Like, this part, but like, I need color. Every now and then. Or maybe more than every now and then. Maybe I just need a lot of color in my life. I am kind of... I just need color. That's all. I think everybody needs color nowadays anyway. But this is the final look. I do apologize if I'm up in your face. I'm trying to get this figured out. Um, because obviously I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. But yet, I don't want to be like, Oh, here's this big old pore. Or here's this new pimple. You know, type of thing. So, hopefully I get it right soon. Um, but other than that, um, I can't think of anything else. 
I hope everybody's healthy and safe and trying to get through this. Um, I wish there was more I could do. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe because what else you got, really? You might as well watch somebody boring, right? Um, and don't know what they're doing. But, uh, and then hit the bell. Hit all. That way you're notified of all my upcoming videos. All these lovely new palettes coming at ya. Um, I think that's it. Yep. I will see you in my next video. Bye.